Hello friends, myself Suresh. In this video, we would be uh, I would be showing a demo of X64 DPG software. So what is this software all about? We know that whenever a program is written, it is written in a high level language, C, C++, Java, Python, whichever language we name, most of them are high level languages. And uh, after the program is saved, it is uh, converted or when the program is executed, it is uh, first converted to the assembly level language and then to the machine level language. And this machine level language is something which is understood by our CPU and executed by our system. Now, when we don't have the actual uh, code of the program, we just have the executable file of that program. And we want to know the exact steps which the program is uh, undergoing inside it, which the program will be executing during its runtime, then we have to, uh, there's only one way of doing it. We have to analyze the actual uh, image of the program when, when it is loaded in the memory and when it is actually running in the memory. But when the program runs in the memory, when the program is executed by the CPU, it is executed in a machine level uh, language. It, uh, the, if we, even if we are able to extract the code, it is in machine level language, which is not human understandable. So we need a disassembler that can convert it to assembly level language. And using that assembly level language during the runtime of the program, we can analyze the steps the program is going to uh, take during its execution. And we can accordingly modify the program as per our requirement. So in this demo, we would be using this particular uh, disassembler X64 DPG, which is capable of uh, debugging a 32 and 64 bit file. And uh, we would be just uh, doing the demo on this putty uh, 32 bit software. So let's uh, start it. So this is the putty software. If I just give any uh, particular IP address, of a system on which the SSH is enabled, I can see that it is giving me uh, the terminal as login as. Now suppose I want, I do not have the actual code of this putty file, I just have this executable file. And now I want to change this uh, login as message to say something else, say GINS, I want to modify that. So how do I do that? Okay, without having the actual source code of this executable file. So for that, I can use this uh, x32 dpg software, which we can download from this website as uh, I've shown. And uh, let's have the demo for that. I'll just I'll take that and click on file, click on open in the desktop, go to putty.px. Okay. So this is the actual assembly level language. Okay. That is present. Okay. And now even if I click on run, this is run. We can see it is paused, it is in, stuck in this breakpoint. So, okay, no issues. So here we can see the actual uh, assembly level languages, the call, move, push, pop, comparisons, jump, if equal, jump, if not equal, and all those things done over here. So over here, I need to search for that message login as. So how do I do that? I'll right click, click on search for, go to current module, search for string references, okay? So here I can see all the strings that are present in putty.exe. So these are all the strings that are present in this putty.exe. So what I will do search over here, I will search for L-O-G-I-N login space as. So there are two references we can see, okay? So I click on the first one. This is the first one. So I need to edit it. How do I do that? I'll right click and then click on assemble, okay? Over here, instead of uh, this, let's modify this as uh, B. Instead of A, I'll just make it B. Okay. So this is L disappeared. Okay. So one character now went away. So this one is done. Now I will go to the second reference and I will click this. Again, I will right click and click on assemble. Make this one as B. Okay. Fair enough. Now I'll again go to references. I'll close this one. Okay. I'll close this window now. And I will again right click here, search for current module stream references. Okay. So now, ideally, if I search for login as, I should not be able to find anything. See, there is nothing called login as. But if I just remove the L, we can see the two OGINS uh, written over here. So basically, this means to say that whatever changes we had done is actually now. Uh, like uh, shown 
in the system it is saved in the system so how to now export this file okay now this executable file is now modified okay so this is actually patches are made okay so in the patch what happens is that some changes are done in the system and then the patch is exported so if i want i can just click on patch so either i can export this patch standalone okay so this is how the patch like whenever you see patches are available for some famous software to crack where well, like to enable using the software without the password this is how the system like the developers do that they generate the patch so either i can either export the patch okay or if i want i can export the whole file itself so i'll just patch the file and export the entire file as a new file okay so i'll click on yes i'll save this file as say putty exe over here i need to specify the extension as well in this software but if you are using already vg software or any other software for this disassembling purpose no need to specify the extension you can click on save you can see the two patches have been applied i can close this window i can also close this window i can stop the tip okay. <clears throat> so now i can say this putty 2.exe so if i open this and i give the same ip address now let's click on open and see i can see the difference it is now showing as ogins and if i open the previous the original version it is showing as logins so this is how using a disassembler like x32 dvg or x64 dvg we can generate or we can change the runtime execution of a particular exe file and we can generate the patches or we can generate the new exe files for that so that was all for demo i hope this video was informative and thank you very much for your time